Hi, fifth graders. This, this week's math lesson is on order of operations, which is simply a process that we're going to follow when we're given an equation that has several operations. How do we know which one to do first? This method is called GEMS, and we work through these steps in order to know which operation to do first in the equation. So the first step is always grouping. Does the equation have any parentheses, brackets, or braces? If it does, we do those problems first. The next step is exponents. If there are exponents in the problem, after we've done our math inside the parentheses, we go to the exponents next. Following that, we look at we look for multiplication and division problems. And we always solve those left to right. Then subtraction and addition, again, left to right. Let's get into a problem so that you can actually see how this works. All right, you can see off to the side. I still have the poster there so I can refer to that. The first thing that you're gonna to want to do when you're given an equation that has more than one operation, like the one on the right side of your screen, is first figure out what your operations are. We have two operations. We have multiplication and we have subtraction. I'm gonna use my gems poster to figure out which to do first. So I don't see any grouping symbols. I don't see any exponents, so I don't have to worry about that one. I do see a multiplication problem, and I do see a subtraction problem. So I know that the first thing I'm gonna need to do is multiplication, and the second is subtraction. And then I begin actually working through the problem. So six times eight is 48. And then I bring the rest of the problem down, minus 10, because I haven't used that part yet. 48 minus 10 is 38. And this will give me my final answer for this problem. All right, let's try another problem. Remember, first step, always go in and identify your operations. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at my GEMS poster and I'm going to follow my steps. G, grouping symbols. Do I have any parentheses, braces, or brackets? No, I don't have any of those, so that one I'm going to check off. Do I have any exponents, which are the little numbers next to a larger number? No, I don't have any of those. Do I have any multiplication or division problems? Yes, I have a division problem, so I need to pay attention to that. And last but not least, I have an addition problem. Right, same order, uh, division first, then addition. 21 divided by three is seven. I bring down the rest of the problem, plus four. Seven plus four is 11, which gives me my final answer for this problem. 